it's Matt here, your cruise director, with some important information regarding debarkation tomorrow. Now, I know what you're thinking, where did my vacation go? And although you're going home tomorrow, we still have one full action-packed fun day at sea in store for you today. Let's start with your sale and sign account. Early tomorrow morning, your stateroom steward will deliver your final sale and sign account statement to your cabin. Please be sure to review your statement carefully. Should you find any discrepancies, please be sure to visit the guest service desk located on deck 3 before 9am tomorrow morning. Now for those of you who have set up your account with a cash deposit and have not exceeded the amount of your deposit, you will receive a check that will be sent to your mailing address at home. If you have exceeded the amount of your cash deposit, you must pay the outstanding balance at guest services before 9am tomorrow. If you have set up your account with a credit or debit card, we will close your account on board this evening and your charges for the cruise will be billed to this card automatically. On behalf of the entire dining and housekeeping team, I'd like to personally thank you for the gratuities extended to these individuals who have worked very hard to provide you with a memorable vacation experience. Gratuities for these staff members have already been prepaid to your sale and sign account. Now, before disembarking the vessel tomorrow in Miami, all guests must complete a U.S. Customs Declaration form. If you are traveling as a couple or a family and share the same last name and live in the same household address, you will only need to fill out one form per couple or family. If you are traveling with people who have a different last name or street address, each person will need their own form. Extra forms are available at guest services. On the bottom of the form, you must claim the total dollar amount of all purchases you are carrying into the U.S. Please itemize these purchases on the back of the form. If you are a U.S. citizen, you are permitted to bring ashore the following items. $800 worth of tax and duty-free items. And an additional $800 if purchased in St. Thomas. One liter of alcohol and an additional 4 litres if purchased in St. Thomas. One carton of cigarettes and an additional 4 cartons if purchased in St. Thomas. And 100 cigars, which are non-Cuban. If you are filling out the form as a couple or family, you must combine your allowances. If you have exceeded your customs allowance, you will need to pay the appropriate tax and duty. If you are a Canadian citizen, you're allowed to bring ashore the following. Up to 800 Canadian dollars worth of goods of tax and duty free per person. This includes 200 cigarettes, 50 non-Cuban cigars, and 1.5 liters of wine, or 1.14 liters of liquor. Now, a popular debarkation option is called zone debarkation, in which we'll call you down to the gangway by the zone number that you placed on your luggage last night. Now, if you choose this program, please place your luggage outside of your cabin between the hours of 8.30 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. this evening. With the blue zone debarkation luggage tags you will find in your cabin today, your luggage will be collected by our staff and placed into a secure area on board for offloading upon arrival tomorrow morning. Please do not pack medicine or other important documents. These include your sale and sign card, your U.S. Customs Declaration form, and proof of citizenship. Now, tomorrow morning you'll be called by zone number by the number that appears on your tag. Your luggage will be waiting for you in the terminal building once you exit the vessel. Now you may also choose our self-assist option which allows you to carry your own luggage off the ship. Bear in mind though, that in addition to carrying off your own bags, there may be escalators, stairs and lines to contend with. Please note that guests with oversized or multiple pieces of luggage do not qualify for this program. Now if you choose a self-assist option, you do not need to put your luggage outside of your cabin this evening. Instead, you must keep all of your belongings with you and tomorrow morning we'll begin to call self-assist by deck within the first hour after we clear customs. Now for those guests that have signed up for a post-cruise shore excursion or a luggage express program, 
You'll receive separate demarcation information by letter delivered to your cabin this evening. Likewise, for those guests that have reached platinum status with us here on Carnival, you'll also receive separate demarcation information. Now, if you have a flight that departs early tomorrow morning, before 12 o'clock in Miami or 1 o'clock in Fort Lauderdale, and you're not eligible for our self-assist program, you must obtain an early flight tag which can be collected from guest services. Now, once you get your tag, the guest service associate will provide you with the necessary information regarding the evacuation tomorrow morning. The gangway tomorrow morning will be located on deck three in the main lobby. We ask that you please do not proceed to the gangway until your group has been called. Also, we ask guests to vacate their cabin no later than 8.30 a.m. tomorrow morning and they can make their way to the following waiting areas. Promenade deck, leader deck, or the main show lounge. Upon clearance of the vessel by local officials, we will begin the debarkation process. For this reason, we, again, we ask you to please do not wait in the lobby area. Guests waiting in the lobby area will be asked to leave. Please only make your way down to the lobby area once your group has been called. Guests using the services option will be called first. Guests using zone demarcation will be called by their zone number. Again, please only make your way to the gangway after your deck has been called to keep the demarcation process as efficient and fast as possible. To access the gangway, you'll proceed all the way forward using only the forward stairwells and elevators to access the lobby gangway. When you arrive at the gangway, please have the following documents ready. Your sale and sign card, a completed customs US declaration form, and proof of citizenship. After making your way out of the ship and into the terminal, you must present your proof of citizenship and US customs declaration form to the immigration officials. Buses, taxis, and other transportation options are available outside the cruise terminal. Wheelchair assistance will be available starting from 7 a.m. in the Ovation Theatre. Priority will be given to those guests who have zone numbers have already been called. Now to ensure a smooth debarkation process, it is very important that you wait for your group to be called before you make your way to the gangway. Please bear in mind that we will be disembarking thousands of guests as well as their luggage. Your cooperation and patience will go a long way in making this process as smooth as possible. Now, on behalf of Carnival Cruise Lines, the officers, staff, and crew, we'd like to thank you for choosing to spend your vacation here with us. We hope you have a very safe onward journey home.